Tonight on Howard 101, join Big Black and King of All Blacks as they disagree about everything. Black on Black! Oh yeah! Black on Black! Black on Black is back. It's the unemployed security guard and the garbage man. Big Black, King of All Blacks. Black on Black. And good to hear from you, Big Black. And uh, King, thank you, and uh, we'll see you guys on your own show. Black on Black! Black on Black. Call 888-STERN-101 on Howard 101. Welcome, welcome back to the Black on Black on Howard 101. This is Big Black and my co-host, King of All Black. And we'd like to welcome you again to Pharrell. He's on vacation. We're filling in for him for the first half of the show from 8 p.m. to 10 p.m. And after us, well, Abe Cannon comes on from 10 p.m. to midnight. So hit us up. We've got three more shows to go. And this is our 13th show that we've done, the unlucky 13th show. And Tim, Tim Sabian came in and gave us a good visit. Yeah, yeah. That, was, that was surprising. The, the boss came in and said, you guys are doing a good job. Yeah, yeah. So a great job, he said. One of the star shows of this channel. That's what he said. Man, you I wonder. Think he was lying? No, nah, I guess he's if he's telling us that. It must be true. But it seems I, serious. I wonder how the other people on this um, channel feel, though, when they hear stuff like that. You know, like Black on Black is getting a lot of shine on this channel. Well, well the instinct is they fuck them, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's what I would say. Other people say, like, you know, I get so many calls on my channel. I mean, my show, man, damn. I'm just as good as Black on Black, but maybe it is. Oh, people say that? Yeah. That was so- and you have other shows, they say, man, the, the phone calls are lit up, man, already. We're just starting out. <laughs> well, that's just the illusion. You know, that's to make people think that the phones are lit up. <laughs> That's all bullshit. <laughs> oh, snap. Hey, so um, I was listening to the show this morning, and I heard that Robin actually listened to our show on Monday. I don't know if she listened to it, but she said that she heard. Well, she had to listen to it to hear it. She heard us talking about the uh, first gay wedding on radio. On the Al-Q station. Yeah, didn't I, isn't, isn't that how the lady built it? The first? Yeah, the first um um, gay marriage in New York to be broadcast on the radio. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's <laughs> yeah, wow. Uh, yeah. That's great news, right? <laughs> Shouldn't they tell us about this? Wow, isn't it great? They're having the first marriage broadcast on, on radio, the first gay marriage. <laughs> I want to laugh on the face, but I couldn't I know, do we, that. But isn't it funny how we have that, you know, you had to act like you was like real happy. Yeah. Was like, I, I was just like a happy nigga. I was like, yeah, great. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm thinking, <laughs> you, you, your life is all messed up if you think that's something to be proud of but uh, yeah. but I'm glad and that as Robert, soon as you say that people say yeah. you, you, you guys went through slavery and yeah. civil rights you should know no no it's a whole different ball game well, that's part of what like Robin and Howard were saying after they were saying oh it seems like King and Big Black don't really uh, are in favor of, of that marriage <laughs> and they're like well I guess yeah I guess they didn't even learn from what happened with slavery listen but, I don't know who's in favor of it just because people say things I've learned through my uh, lifetime that what people say isn't always what they mean you know what I'm saying if somebody says they're in favor of whatever you don't know if that's true. You that's know what I'm true. saying? Just, some people have to say it because they work somewhere. Some people have to say certain things because, you know what I'm saying? For different just reasons. To be fronting, you Absolutely. know. Absolutely. Only way you'll know is if you can read people's minds. That's then true. you will really know how somebody feels. I'm going to write a screenplay. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> have you been reading some books about how to write screenplays? Yeah, no, no, no. That's, what I have to, that's my next step. <laughs> I'm going to write a screenplay. And what's have people just have just people talking, and then you know a person will read somebody's mind and how they really think. I think it's been done already, but I can do it better. Oh, that's cool. You know, I want to apologize to you. About what? Um, for treat- what? For how I treated your wife? Because it seemed like yesterday you were saying, "Man, you being disrespectful to my wife." Nah, no, no, no. You weren't offended because I think no. you were getting offended. No, no, I don't get it. I wouldn't. I, you didn't offend. You didn't offend me. You didn't disrespect me. I was just playing with you. Oh, okay. No, nah, no. Nah, I would believe me. You would know if you was disrespecting my wife. So let me ask you a question. How long have you been? Why? Well, Knock we- ass out. No, I just did. <laughs> nah, you, you weren't. Because a lot of people on Twitter are saying, "Oh, watch out, big black." Oh, FBO. come on, man. Why does everybody want somebody to fight up in here? I know. They're always trying to start Everybody shit. that wants people to fight can't fight. You ever notice that? You know how I many motherfuckers I invited up here to do something to me? Ain't nobody did shit. I'll be downstairs chilling. Smoking a cigarette in front of the studio. I don't even smoke cigarettes, but I hate cigarettes, but 
I'm waiting for somebody to come do something. All this shit people be talking. Not on Twitter. I got mad love on Twitter. Stern Fan Network. Big shout out to the Stern Fan Network. Word to the mother. Yeah, so, um, you know, yeah, Robin, I, I, well, maybe she did listen to it. Well, let me ask you something. How long have you been married to your wife? Uh, about uh, 13 years. So, um, you, you're 48 now, right? 47. 47. Oh, you're 47. Yeah, I'll be 48 next year. So how old were you when you got married? I don't know. You're going to make me do, go and do math. <laughs> I was reading on Twitter, someone like Mr. Carr, 1980, he said you were 33 when you got married. Does that sound about right? Yeah, I'm about right. Because he said also then your wife was 17. Yeah, she was 18. She was young. She was a young girl. Damn. So I like them young and tight, baby. So you were you were 30 something and your wife hey, was 18. Hey, listen, I, all, 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 you know, all due respect, I don't want no old dog. I want a puppy. You know what I'm saying? So now is she getting to the point where, hey, it's time to, you know. Nah, she's still young. Yeah, she's still I, younger than you, but she's I not trade 18. In, I trade in around uh, when she gets 39, 40. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Trade in like, like Howard traded in and Allison? But she got a baby face. Oh, so that, 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 that does a trick for you. Yeah, she got, a, she got a, 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 a baby face. Like You know what I'm saying? She don't look mature. So how did your, her parents treat you when you were like courting her and she's like 17 or whatever, and you're in your 30s? They were, they were broke. They, how are they going to treat me? They should, that, I look like the fucking savior. Really? Yeah, I told you when I brought my wife to Jersey, she was like, what's that? I said, what? She said, what's that? I said, that's grass. I swear to God, she was feeling what's that ground. She was like, this is grass? This shit feels crazy. Man, I don't believe that bullshit. <laughs> what's this? And then I started up the lawnmower. She said, she's not getting scared and shit. I said, that's a lawnmower. That's how you cut the grass. She was like, wow. And then I ain't see her. I thought she ran away, but she was on her knees. Or praying? No, right. She sucked my dick. <laughs> I thought she could stay with this shit. <laughs> I said, where'd she go? Holy shit. She's right. Nah, I'm just kidding. Yeah, nah, but she come from New York. You know what I'm saying? So, nah, they like me. Her parents were, you know, nice, hardworking people. What are you going to say? You know what I'm saying? Her father, I think he drove a cab. How, so how how um how old is uh father related to her? Like, is he like 20 years older or whatever? Or? He was, uh, he died. Um, oh, wow, sorry. Recently, <laughs> what were you sorry about? Sorry about that, man. People always say that. Was, uh, yo, people, sorry. Yo, you really you don't even know. I'm sorry that your father-in-law had passed away, man. Sorry about that. See, I was just talking about how people say things. You don't care. But anyway, hell, I have care. No, I'm just kidding. No, he, he died about five years ago. But he was a, um, he was actually a young, he was a big Howard Stern fan. Really? He was a big Howard Stern fan. Yeah. Were you already on the show when you started going mm -hmm. with her? Yeah. Well, what do you think? I was, I, I've been on this, I've been coming on this show since 1988. 1988. Yeah. Yeah, shit, man. <laughs> I've been coming on the show since I'm um, 93. So you ain't, you wasn't when on did five you become, years before. When did you, when did you uh, join the WAC pack? <laughs> I joined it right after you. I'm not in the whack nah. pack. Did you hear Howard say that on the air? Nah, but that was Did a, you? Hold on. Nah, hold on. Nah. You, boy, you want to talk over me? Did you hear him say I wasn't in the whack pack? Nah, I didn't hear that. No, I did. I heard him take about five minutes to try to find out. Well, I don't know. Is he or isn't oh, he? Oh, he was thinking. <laughs> <laughs> when you're thinking about me, it takes a long time to, you know, figure this shit out. <laughs> Let me ask you, are you a fan of Glenn Beck? Yeah. No, I'm not a fan. I listen to him. Because I think Tim Sabian looks a little like him. How about you? Yeah, he, he tries to look. He looks hip or something, Tim Sabian, right? Yeah, because I guess now that he's like I'm divorced and he's single. Yeah, he's he on a knapsack and some Tom Ford glasses. Some glasses cost about 500 Yeah? Yeah, he had a tan. He's ready to mango, huh? <laughs> <laughs> he's trying to be like Howard, get yeah. like a nice little model or whatever. They asked me about that white girl I used to bring down here. You heard him? Oh, what was her name? Camille. Yeah, I heard him say, well, yeah, what's up with Camille? <laughs> <laughs> so, did he have like a, some kind of a relationship with her before? No. <laughs> no, I thought he was to bring it down and then he just say, hey, you want to stay around here? You know, Lawrence, he could leave. He could stay. I said, like, oh. So, um, I my, no. did, um, he said something about a TV right. show. What kind of show was she on? Some kind of TV show? Yeah, she, well, first of all, when I did a show a long time ago, when they when Howard first came to the channels, the Ask the King show, yeah, and um, she was uh, she did it with me, 
So that's how we, um, you know, that's how she met Tim Shavey. So she, yeah, she has a, a, a job on the uh, Food cha- no, Travel Network. Oh, okay. Like yeah, she got a show on there. You know, I've been meaning to ask you about the Ashley King show. So when that started out, how many episodes did you do? I did uh, four. And why, why did and it I stop? And I got a write up in the Daily News. But, but why did it stop? I really don't want to get into it because we talked about it on the phone. That's why I said when Howard called me on my cell phone, we talked about it. We talked. Oh, about it's like something behind the scenes you don't really yeah. want to get into. Yeah, I can't really discuss it. He didn't say like, "Well, we had to cancel you because your show sucks," something like no, that. No, no, not like that. I don't do anything that sucks. It was. It was. I knew we were. I knew I was coming back. Um, and was that based on? Told a me how. Ta- hang on, don't don't talk on me. Told me how talented I was. Yeah. But meanwhile, <laughs> that's another thing. You know, I, it, 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 no all due respect, or no disrespect to anybody. But you know, when people call up and they say, "Oh, can I get a, a TV? Sh- I mean, a, a radio show on the channels?" It, it, it's not that easy like that. You know what I'm saying? You you have to have certain things to crack these microphones. You know what I'm saying? And to get paid for it, you have to have some type of talent. First of all. You know what I'm saying? You got uh-huh. to have something. You can't just say, and, and you should let them approach you and ask you, do you want to do a radio show? You know, like we did. Well, I asked Howard, though. Oh, well, you did. I'm saying, do you, I, I would let somebody approach me and ask me, to, can I do a radio show? You should never ask somebody to do something. Because then you put them in a, a weird spot. Yeah, that was weird what happened earlier this day today. <laughs> With, with, with Captain Jenks? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like that example. No disrespect that Captain Jenks is my man. But you should never ask somebody to, to, to do something for you because you put them in a weird spot. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's like, Howard, can you give me a show? And then Howard had to kind of put it on Tim and like, say, you got to speak like, to Tim. It's like people making a demo tape, a rap tape, and they go up to the record company and they go, yo, listen to my demo. Come on, man. You're a joke. You know, they, You're a joke? They, they laugh at you when you do that. Let them come to you. Yeah, but sometimes, though, isn't there like a thing about being proactive? A lot of guys, like, you know, I got to get my Pro, it's, myself. There's a difference between proactive and begging. You know what I'm saying? Proactive means, yo, you know I'm here. You know I'm bad. Yo, come check me. But when you're begging, you're a beggar. So you have any advice for Captain Jenks for, for how to get a radio okay. show? Are you, I don't know why you're singling him out. I'm just saying. I'm just being good on a board. Oh, well, just because he called today, or anybody in general then. Any advice for someone how to get a show on Howard 101? All right. Well, don't don't listen to me, King of All Blacks, and think this is easy. You know what I'm saying? It take, oh, no, God. it takes a certain amount okay, okay. of savoir faire to do this shit. Yeah, you know I what I mean? You. It, takes a, it takes a certain, what do you say? Je ne sais quoi. You know yeah. what I'm saying? To, 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 je to, ne sais quoi. Je ne sais quoi. To, uh, you know. Yeah, that's why your first show got canceled until you got me on the show with you. That's what you need. You well, need a big black to help you out. Well, thank you. Thank you. That's still right. got on the same pants as you did yesterday, huh? Yeah, and I'm still helping you out, man. That's why the show's doing good. <laughs> Thanks. The more I wear these pants, well, the more well, better our show is. So the show would be even better if I, if I, if I took a sick day tomorrow. Sure. <laughs> no, I would, no, I would say it'd be better. I'm saying it's two of us together. No, I know, no, absolutely. We compliment each other. Right. I'm the suit and you're the tie. Oh, okay. See? I can wear the suit without the tie sometimes. And I still have one suit. So how come like last Whatever week? Whatever the fuck that means. Yeah. Last week when you thought I wasn't going to show up, you were like, oh, damn. No, we, no, because we, the cam, what did I say? Now, like, what did I say? I'm going I'm to let you, what did I say? You was like, damn, we're going to have to go to a rerun, man. I thought, how come you shouldn't say? Yeah, because we had a we had a thing going. Yeah, but you could have did it by yourself. So, I'm here. I'm good enough. Let me do it by myself. That's how I said that. But they said, <laughs> yeah, they know better, right? <laughs> no, it's not that they know better. They just said, yo, now nah, we might have to do that. He yeah. might come in. Oh, okay, okay, all right. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. What, Somebody cut my screen off. Uh, yeah, just I'm you, running the boards tonight, everybody. They so got a mouse I'm that just, you push. <laughs> I got to teach you how to use a mouse with the computer. You jiggle the mouse a little bit. I'm running the board. Uh, but, for, but speaking of someone trying to get a show, we I have a... I didn't know how to... I'm, no, they, they need to have um, someone come How's over and help volume? you out. Is your volume on Yeah, it's good. Because I'm running the boards tonight. Go yeah, ahead. okay, right. Got well, We got Captain Jenks, a personal assistant, trying to call about getting a show. What's up? Hello. How you doing, sir? Hey, what's up? Good. How you guys doing? Who's this? Uh, this is Ed. And you are Captain yeah. Jenks' personal assistant? 
Yeah, man. Yeah. How can we help you? Yeah, yeah man. I'm lying. Yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> I you know, just want yeah. me to call up to find out what you guys, you know, want him to call up about. Why? What is he doing? He got he's one on everything. He got one on the well, pumps. He got one on the pumps. Yeah, you know it. He's, he's pumping gas. Tell me, to get on the <laughs> phone, man. No, nah, seriously, man. You yeah. know, I can just you know give him a call back because I'm on, I'm on the road right now. So what is he Hollywood in us, man? He can't call himself. Uh, I, you got me, my man. <laughs> you sound like you don't even know, Captain. <laughs> Trust me, I know Jack. Trust me. Yeah, tell him what. Call, tell him to call himself, man. Because we don't. What know are you this doing? Bullshit, what are you man. doing? What are you doing to that dog in the background? I ain't doing nothing, man. My dogs are just going crazy. Oh. <laughs> All right, man. Thanks. I don't know what that fuck he was talking about. Uh, let's see. I'm trying to get. Well, we him. pretty much gave him the advice. Uh, let's go to somebody else. Um, Chris in East Texas calling about gay marriage. Hey, what's going on, King? Okay, what's going on, Big? How you doing, sir? Hey, what's up? Oh, absolutely fantastic. Hey, I love the show. I'm glad you guys are uh, getting a few more shows out of this this week. Oh, thank you. You know, the guys got great on-air chemistry, like you were saying, but uh, I don't know, man. What's this uh, What's this thing with you guys? You got on the subject a couple of times about the gay marriage and not uh, not agreeing. I mean, you know, what's how's it affecting you guys? What do you mean, how well, is it affecting it, us? It, it's, it, I mean, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead man. No, go ahead. What do you mean? How is it affecting us? Well, well, I mean, like you know, you're busting out. You don't agree with it, and what have you. But you know, I mean, it's, it really doesn't affect anything. You know, it's 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 their lives. It's not a, it's not yours. Well, so, well, what it what it does is what it. Well, you're right. It doesn't affect me personally. What it doesn't affect me personally. You're absolutely right. But what it does is, it it it. I'm not a, I'm not against it because I have to be for it. I'm not against it in the sense that I can't do anything about it. So, so I'm, I'm for, I'm, I'm not against it because I can't do anything about it. But what I'm saying is, oh, come on, man. what I'm saying is, it, it, it lessens the marriage of a man and a woman. Like it makes that, you know what I'm saying? It makes it, I don't want to say cheapens it, but it, it brings the value down of a man and a woman being married. You feel me? Well, yeah. I mean, I, I don't disagree with you there. I mean, uh, you know, I, I can kind of see that side of it, but isn't it ultimately God, whomever that may be, isn't it his choice to well, judge that's them? A, that's a well, cop that's out. Who, that's, who, but that's who you're talking to. Hey, but dude, but, so you're saying as a person living on this earth, we can't have an opinion that we like something or we don't like something. Well, I don't know. I mean, you guys just seem pretty agitated about it. But, dude, so, so dude, I'm saying, ask you, can I have an opinion that, that I don't like something that's going on in the world? Can I say I don't oh, like that? I, Oh, absolutely. Right. So that's what we're doing. Yeah, but why would you say, why would you say, and what, not just you, I'm not going to just single you out. Why do you say, oh, no. why do you say God, nobody knows God. We don't know God. We, my opinion is I don't think God think that thinks that's okay, but I don't know because I don't know God. We all use God to 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 say what we think is right. That he says that this is right, he says that that's right. We don't know what he says, but I, my opinion is this: is how I gauge things. If I have to hide my daughter and my son's eyes from two men kissing, then I don't, I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's good. You know what I'm saying? If I gotta hide that, if I see a, a girl and a guy kissing, I don't hide my daughter's eyes. It just looks natural. You feel me? But if I see two guys with big beards kissing, it doesn't. I mean, uh, some yeah, about it doesn't look. Like, it's just like if you see a, if you see a white dude with a black girl, vice versa. It doesn't look normal. It doesn't. It, it looks well, odd. I mean, well, see, now I disagree with you on that one because I mean that's I mean there's no uh, nowadays it, it is normal. And no, I, mean, it's only a I seen it. Before. I I seen it when I got off the subway. I seen this white dude with a black girl. And I'm saying, what's wrong with them? Like, why are they doing that? And but I'm not mad. It just looks odd. And then when they have kids, they look odd because they don't know who they are. Dude, that that's stupid though. It's because all of us are mixed. Like somewhere in your background, there's a white person and a black person, and that's why you look like kind of mocha colored. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, and you look uncut, like you know, like pure cocaine. Yeah, right. <laughs> You're pure black cocaine. Yeah, I'm not that dark. <laughs> so all of us black people, are mixed I people. Though, so. I love the show. I'll get out yeah. for another color. I mean, I love that. Right, I thanks, love sir. that conversation. I love it. So I, I hear you. I love it.
All right, let's go. Um, somebody who has a compliment instead of giving us a hassle. Here's Phil in L.A. Oh, man. What's up, Phil? <laughs> Not too much, gentlemen. First of all, I want to say props to you. You guys do, do definitely have chemistry. And, King, i got to tell you something. I'm an old guy. I'm 56, okay? And but when I hear you talk about women, you are dead on. My, my old lady, I used to buy shit for her all the time, and she would turn around and basically like treat me like shit. Oh. And, uh, and, then, and then I stopped doing that shit, you know, because I was listening to you. Yeah. And, and now she's being real nice. <laughs> I don't know if that means that she wants shit or anything. But the thing about it, though, I notice when I don't pay attention to her, yeah. it comes crawling back. Crawling That's right. Back. That's right. That's right. You, you, mm -hmm. Go ahead. You, you know women, man. You know what? If there was a book that would, I know there's a lot of books on, on shit, how to go ahead and treat women, talk to women. If you put one out there, that would be the one that would sell the most. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. What are you smoking, man? I'm going to put a book out well, on how to treat a woman. I'm going to put a book out on how to treat a woman. <laughs> and I'm going to be well, standing there with some on the cover with some wilted roses. <laughs> They're going to be dead roses. And that's going to be the cover of my book. Yeah, right. All right. Thing, Good too, luck. You are, def you are definitely a man. I mean, this ain't no love fest or nothing. But, you know, you're a man. You don't take shit from nobody. And, and, and like, you believe in what you believe in and you respect it. Who's this, the president so of your fan I club? Just, I just got to say, man, I love the show. And here's another thing, too. You know, the guy's talking about Chuck Vito. First of all, I'm going to catch up for this. The guy talks on the radio. The guy's a fucking bully. All right? Here's another thing, too. Back in, I think it was in February of 08 or 09, there used to be a show called The Wise Guy Show on Raw Dog. And they started talking to him and said, hey, I don't hear you on Howard no more. And he said, ah, fuck, Stern, man. They want that fucking uh, stuttering <laughs> idiot. Uh, and that's uh, John the Stutter. Yeah. So he talks shit. He talks shit about oh, him Howard. too, huh? Wow. Yeah. You know, I mean. Well, listen, listen, guy. listen. I don't know anything about that. But I will yeah. say, I will say that that when I just take Howard, for instance, or anybody. Sometimes there's people that you cannot do things for because they will resent you for it. it. It's a funny thing. You give people things like maybe a show, like they were talking about today, like Andy Dick or, or, or people like that, and they smile at you and everything. But it, in, inside, they, they can't wait for you to die. And then when you give them something, that makes it even worse that you have the ability to give them something. They they resent you for that shit. But I like your uh um I like the fact that you learned from the school of the King of All Blacks on how to treat them women. All right, thanks for the call. Well, so you in, instructing the Keep the, learning. Instructing your followers on how to follow your your um crazy message um but um I like to say you can call us at 888 Stern 101. And we'll be back with more of King's um, rants. More Black on Black on Howard 101. Welcome back to Black on Black. Hey, King, I got a few questions for you. Because you made fun of me with my beige computer, right? Wait, let me get my, my Twitter. Oh, okay. Can I get my Twitter? Sure. Hit me up at uh, Ask the King. Go ahead. And I'm, I'm, I'm the real big black on Twitter and YouTube. Go ahead. Uh, you made fun of me like, oh, you got a beige computer, I bet, right? Remember you made, you made that famous comment? So let me ask you a couple of questions about computers since you seem that you said you have an Apple computer at home, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm not a computer. I'm not a computer. Well, you're on a computer though, right? Yeah. You use it. Yeah. Let me ask you, what, what is a font? <laughs> it's a symbol. A font is uh, uh, like a parenthesis, right? I don't know. I don't Something know. like that. Yeah. I, I know what it is. I'm not. I don't know what it's called, but I'm. I don't have a computer right here. <laughs> it doesn't say oh, okay. font on the key. I know that. Yeah, but I'm asking you. That's it's a concept that's involved with computers. Uh, yeah. How about what's your favorite browser for going on the internet? Well, Google. Google's your favorite browser. Yeah. Yeah. I go to Google for everything. Well, Google is a website, but what's your favorite <laughs> browser that you use to go to the website? Safari. Oh, wow. Know. You finally got something. <laughs> you just throwing shit on the wall. You finally got something to click. No, because I'm All just right, thinking of the, the more familiar things that yeah. I know about the computer. Well, you got you got me there. You came up with a, a good name. I'm computer name. savvy. I'm yeah. just playing with you. I, 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 I try to, I got to know about computers. Go ahead. What's a PDF? PDF is uh, people don't fuck. Now, I don't, I don't know what a PDF is. 
Well, it's just a format for, for some kind of documents, but. I'm going to ask you some questions, too. All right. Go ahead. Huh? Go ahead. Um, what is, what is, uh, <laughs> come on, man. Damn. <laughs> Maybe I should go to a call what and give you makes, some time to think. What's the number one company for work uniforms? <laughs> work uniform. I know it's a joke coming. <laughs> no. I, it's not even worth no, even going to. No, just say you don't know. How would you know? Oh, That's what you should say. How would I know? <laughs> That's what you're supposed to say. <laughs> God, you can say it. How about Wrangler? No, that's they don't make uniforms. I don't know what is it. Dickies. Dickies. Oh, yeah. Okay, that's a good one. New print. Yeah, those are, those are. Um, they, they make your sanitation. Oh, and uniforms? this girl is. Uh, oh, I want to say something. I'm so, you know sorry to skip over you, but uh, I'm getting a website put up. A website. What's King it? of what? All Blacks. Really? Com. Yeah. King of All Blacks. Dot com. What are you gonna be able to do at that website? Oh, I have some pictures of me. Up there, and I'm have a um, I have a, a store at the uh, you know, <laughs> the last at page, the- and it has a lot of information, a lot of information, maybe a couple of videos up there. Uh, a lot of information, like about your life or about things my that- life, about stuff that I think about that I really can't say here. You know, just wow, deep what? shit, deep baby. stuff you can't say here. I get deep. This place is uncensored. What can't you say here? I get deep. We might, we might, I might, oh, I might say some stuff that might surprise you. So maybe not, tomorrow, maybe before Friday. So it's not really like funny stuff. It's more like serious stuff. <clears throat> yeah, it's kind of serious. Okay, uh, let's go to our caller here, Eddie <laughs> in New York. <laughs> Yo, what's up, boys? How you? What doing? up, baby? What's going on? Now I want to ask you guys one serious question. What's popping, slime? What are you thinking about Obama right now? If the election oh. was tomorrow, how you feel about him? If the election was tomorrow, he would probably win. He would probably win, and and I'm going to vote for him. But to be honest with you, I am both disappointed in him, not the job that he's doing, but his lack of backbone against the Republicans. I am very disappointed in him. Right. Very. He's too wishy-washy. Very, very. He's too, he's too wishy-washy. He wants to... To please them, and like I said before, I don't want to sound like a broken record, but the more you bend over backwards for people, the more they don't, if they don't like you from the start, there's nothing you can do to make them like you. So you should stick to your agenda, like George Bush. You can say George Bush was whatever. He ain't give a fuck about what you thought. We going to war. Right. Now, my problem with him is, He's almost like governing. Wait, wait, hold, hold, hold on. Just, just to get, just to hey, get. Hey, sir, the sir, again. sir. Let me ask you a question. When you call, when you wrote, called in, I thought you were going to go into a, a whole different topic. Yeah, I changed my mind. I mean, yeah. come on, <laughs> he can't change his mind. Nah, I had enough for him. Wow. I hate when people change their mind, man. Oh, come on. Oh well, well go ahead. Man. Say, say what I mean, you want to say. Not, I'm, 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 oh well, I mean, I mean, I was trying to have a, a dialogue with him, but you cut him off. Well, because I, I want to go into what he was talking about. Hey, wait, go ahead. Let's move on. All right, here's um somebody who wants to speak to you. Hello, caller. Caller. Hey, how you doing? Who's this? Hello. Who's on hey, the phone? Hey, what up, baby? What's happening? Yeah, I I, I, have, I have my personal assistant calling <laughs> earlier. <laughs> Come on, get out of here. <laughs> hey, Paulie Shore and Ronnie, the limo driver, can have a personal assistant. Well, then why can't I? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but, but are you making money from your phone calls, though? <laughs> exactly. No. Yeah, you no, need money to pay for it. You need to pay for it. No, no. But what, you want to, what, what do you want to talk to us about? No, actually, uh, uh, King had asked me to call in, so I'm uh, calling in. Yeah, no, I Let's asked. See what he wanted. No, I was just, I was just, I, I really didn't want to say to you personally. I was just, I, I said something in the beginning of the show that if 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 people want things like if like just like you said if you like wanted a radio show or something like that you should let them ask you do you do you want to do a radio show it cheapens well, it it cheapens it when you ask can i have something you understand what i'm saying okay well well here's the deal me and tim had already been talking about doing it i mean for a while for like a couple of weeks and my thing was, I wanted to call in just to get Howard's blessing to go ahead with it, because he's the ultimate say-so in it. I didn't ask him for a radio show. If you listen to the tape, I said, 
Well, no, I mean, no, I'm going. I'm not. I'm not. I didn't say I did good. No, wait, wait, make I, you mad. I'm Go sorry. Well, you, you said you didn't ask for a radio show. What did you do? I asked him if I had his blessing to do one. Oh, because his before blessing. I proceeded, before I proceeded any further, in fact, you know, before Howard went on to Sirius, he had, you know, said something to me on the air about doing something over at Sirius. And, um, you know, I got involved with, uh, you know, with drugs and stuff like that, and things got put on hold, and, you know, and it, it, was, a, it was a rough couple of years for me. But I've been sober two years now. I'm shot out of a cannon. i got a lot of stuff to, uh, to do, and I'd love to do something on a radio show. So I was speaking with him about doing something like this, I just figured that I'd call in Howard this morning and get a blessing from him to go ahead with the plan to do it. I got. You. I just. I just. I just did not do so much, but I just didn't want people to get the uh, feeling that you know cracking these microphones was the easy task. You know. Oh no! I no, mean, no, listen. I, I, hang on for a second. See. So you have to have a certain oh, amount on, of uh, uh, talent. Not with the bullshit. Listen. Again. Listen. No. 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 This is very serious on what I'm about to say. Uh, uh be- yeah, serious bullshit. That's right. <laughs> serious bullshit. No, this is very serious. You have to have a certain amount of talent to to do what we do. You know what I'm saying? And to get paid for it, you have to have more talent than that. You see, what? I can pontificate. Oh, yeah, no, 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 that's that's okay. That's enough. That's enough. Yeah. <laughs> so in terms of Captain Janks, though. He- You've heard him on the you show. Had a, you had enough of this bullshit. No, you heard no, him on the show. You heard him on the show for several decades now. <laughs> do you think Captain Jenks has what it takes to do his own radio show? I have to think about it. I, I'm going to compliment. I'm gonna think. I'm gonna think about it. Might take me a uh, half a day. I will think about it. Is that? <laughs> I don't know. So we'll think about it. For, so uh, t- King, stay King, tuned tomorrow. Are you saying, King? Are you saying that you have what it takes? Absolutely. Hey, hey, listen, and hey, listen, do do you have to ask me that? <laughs> think about what you just asked me. Well, I'm just asking because I'm thinking, okay, well, is this guy getting a little full of himself here? No, I've been full of myself. But I'm saying for you to ask me, do do I think I have it? Think about what you asked me. You Would you ask that again? If you, if you could take what you said back, would you ask me that again? No, I, I just, I, I'm curious because it sounds to me like you're putting yourself on a pedestal. No, no, I, you asked me do I have what it takes, and I'm sitting here See, with I a, think, wait, wait, I just want to say something. I, you, you, you asked me do I have what it takes, and I'm sitting here with a serious thing around the microphone, and I'm getting a check for it. So I think I do have what it takes. How's that? Okay, I know I have what it takes. No, doing the I didn't ask calls. you. Wait, I didn't ask you. Do you have what it takes? You asked me. Do I think I have what it takes? And the answer to that question is absolutely. Okay. Well, you know that's what I'm saying. I listen to your show. I think it's a good show. And I think that I'll you that. might do a good well, job not, too. Let him, let him speak but now. I have to let, think let, about let it. Let him speak. All right. Go ahead. I I I have a bunch of prank phone calls which have been played on the show over the years. And not even I have an archive of over 200 prank phone calls that I've done to talk shows and stuff over the years. And I think that it would be entertaining for people to listen to. People like it on the show for the last 20-some years. Why wouldn't they like it on a radio show? And I could even elaborate from there, do other stuff, have guests on, take phone calls. You know what I'm saying? But what I would do is, what's this is what I would do. I would listen to the phony phone calls first, and I will approve of them. How's that? You mean you yourself? Yeah. Okay. Well, you can go on my uh, on my uh, on my Twitter account at King Cranks. But I, I would no phone. no when you submit them up here to Sirius, I will be in on the meeting, and I will approve okay. them. <laughs> I think it's time to move on to another call now. Uh, I'm just playing with you, baby. I'm just playing with you, Cap. This is getting okay, crazy. I was going to say, <laughs> ain't I a good actor? Hey, but but Captain, we before our show started, we was Tim was here, and he, he said there's a lot of things happening on this station. So who knows what's going to happen? You know, just keep. keep see, see, don't don't tuned. let don't let people blow smoke up your ass like that. See, see, he's, Wait, doing, I'm not he's blowing, doing this Hollywood shit, dude, and that ain't right. How am I blowing smoke? No, nah, I'm saying just think, I'm saying there's right. things happening at the station. Who knows what's going to happen? Yeah, what you just, just said to him was not that was some Hollywood shit. What's you wrong with it? Mean? It was that was it, it was bullshit. It's not the truth. It, it, all right, all right, all right. I, I, so, um, but, but you know, Howard heard what you said. So, who knows what's going to happen from here? But we're going to stay tuned to see what happens with your show.
Maybe you'll get one, maybe you won't, but we'll stay tuned for that. Absolutely. I'd love to get one, and if I do, you know, hey, it, it, oh, you never know what you're doing unless you try. Am I right? That's exactly. right. Exactly. Exactly. So I, I, I'm more with you. I'm, I'm more with you trying to get a show on your own. If you have to beg, beg, whatever, whatever it takes. When I met my wife, she was a virgin. Now she's not. <laughs> oh, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Think about wow, it. Man. I mean, she said she was a That's I deep, man. She could be lying. Well, Captain James, good luck, though. And we'll hey, stay Captain, tuned. And if you want to, and if, and if you want to watch, uh, listen to some of my prank phone calls, you can uh, see them and hear them on uh, on my YouTube channel, Captain Jenks One, or you can follow me at King Crank. Or I'm sorry, at Captain Jenks. I changed it to at Captain Jenks. Yeah, Jenks. you did. You did. All right, so thanks for calling in. My man. Good luck, man. Hello? You hung up on him. No, I didn't. Oh, I guess somebody else did. Uh, oh, no, I guess he hung up on himself. <laughs> I wouldn't get one last word in, but, you know. I mean, I didn't, you know, I didn't want to sound, you know. But you you came with the Hollywood stuff, too, now. Oh, okay. Well, I'm sorry about that, then. I apologize. Let's go to our Balls in um, Elwood. What's up, Balls? Hey, hey Big. Hey, King. What's up, fellas? What's up, baby? Hey, and uh, a couple quick questions for you here. I just wanted to ask King first off. We all know you're in the feet from the calls in the Howard. Uh, so I want to know, what's the most amount of money you've ever paid for a pair of women's socks? I, oh, man. About uh, about $60. Holy shit. <laughs> I know. that was That's sick shit, man. 60 <laughs> fucking dollars. And them shits was filthy. I mean, that's how I like them, but they got me. You know, when I got into that, it was like, it was like, like persona non grata. Like, no, you could, like, you know, you had to hide that shit. Now they sell that shit on the internet. How do you how do you acquire them back in the day? Do you just approach? No, I would I would I would actually go to their house. I would go to their house. I would I would approach them and ask them could I buy they they sneak like take their socks off with their sneakers and buy them right there. They but, weren't like they weren't worded out or nothing. No, because I would get to know them first. Oh, know? that's cool. I, I befriended them. Oh, that ain't too bad. <laughs> and then I would ask them. Oh, if I would go to their house, I would go in the hamper and. You know, things like that. It was crazy. You just sneak into the hamper and start yeah. taking shit. <laughs> Damn, <laughs> man, you freak. Hey, I, I mean, got time. You guys sick. want more? Yeah. Yes, sir. Hey, I wanna, this is for both you guys. I wanted to ask you, uh, what three celebrities would you most like to have sex with? Wow, wow. I would say um, no. Sofia Vergara is my number yeah, one. You, you got me with that. She's fine. I see yeah. her. And probably Rihanna and um, Beyonce. All right. Me? I'll take... Um, Mel B. Oh, from the Spice Girls? Yeah. I like to do her. Um, oh, man. Beyonce? Nah. Nah. Um, about Mariah like Carey? Mariah Carey? Mm. What about like Rosaria Dawson? You think she's hot? Yeah, she's hot. She's uh -huh. hot. She needs uh -huh. a little more makeup, though. She likes that nature look. Nah, she ain't hot at all to me. I like a lot of makeup. Um... And um, there's one more girl. Uh, what about like Jessica Alba? No, no. Some about I like her, her turns me on. She got a greasy face. <laughs> <laughs> Do that laugh again. <laughs> <laughs> Something's wrong with her face. Like she puts too much oil on her face. <laughs> you guys are a trip. <laughs> Thanks a lot, man. I'll, I'll talk to you guys. I, I can, I can, I can look at her through. I can look at me through her face. <laughs> hey, some people have like a condition, you know. Yeah. Uh, let's go to another call. Um, Caitlin. What's up, Caitlin? Hey. How you doing, guys? Pretty good. How about you? Mary I'm J. Blige, like... I don't I don't like I, I don't like her look. Yeah. Mary J. Blige. Yeah, yeah, she's Something about her, I don't she's not my type. <laughs> yeah, not my right. either. Well, um but she's I, all right. I wouldn't be calling you guys or listening to you guys if you guys weren't entertaining. But King of All Blacks, you all you do, all your talent is you talk a lot of bullshit. Yeah, you. Th you're you're a good mental masturbator, and you have a good good you have good tongue, but all your opinions are fucking horrible. Yeah, because you don't. And and, and um, black on uh the, the other guy's got his name, but he he's sitting there like your fucking shit is stupid, and I'm sitting there laughing because he's thinking and saying whatever I'm thinking in my head. Yeah, and th that doesn't say much for you if you if you if you thinking like he's thinking. You should be thinking like I'm thinking. She's a genius. I'm one of the smartest. Don't sit there and say that you think you're covering you're covering your kids' eyes 
if there's a, a white girl kissing a black guy. No, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. I said, I that. said. You want to go back and rewind? Yeah, yeah, believe me, I know what I said. I would not cover my, my daughter's eyes if they if she saw a white dude kissing a black girl, vice versa. I said oh, if, she, okay. if there were two men kissing, I'm going to cover my daughter's eyes. That's what I said. All your opinions. All your opinions. And I said that when I used to be abusive, I used to be in an abusive relationship with my wife. On your radio show, what did you do Just, with all the other whack packers? You I'm call. not in the whack pack. I, I, listen, I listen. I'm not a whack packer, but you call like one. No, listen, listen, because I am brilliant. Listen to me. Yes, just listen for one second and you could learn. I'm doing you a favor. Listen, listen. That's what's wrong with women. You fucking shut up. Just listen. Damn, man. Listen to me. Are you misogynist? When I was in the, when I first met my wife and I, we, I, I got married to her, I was an abusive husband. I'm being honest with you. I was. And she used to listen like a fucking dog. You hear me? So when I stopped, I stopped. I got help. I'm a perfect gentleman now. Do you realize she doesn't listen as much as she used to? And that's honest. She's not. She doesn't listen like she used to. But I know that what I did before was wrong. But I did. I do observe that she's not as obedient as she was when I was. Abusive. See, that alone, <laughs> that alone, that statement that you just said, like if I was in front of you, <laughs> I, I know you're probably a lot bigger than me, but I would try. Even if I was like two inches tall compared to you, I'd still try to kick your ass just because you said that. It's just so fucking Yeah, but it's not, it's not, it's not. A woman is not a dog, whether I'm a woman. No, I didn't call her a dog. I said she used. a fucking chipmunk. I said she you used know, to obey. An I said she used to obey like a dog. I didn't say she was a dog. She's the salt of the earth. She's the most. Oh, stop Listen, I kiss the ground she walks on. Believe me, Make I love her. But I just voice. want to tell her, when you love somebody, you have to raise them. You have to discipline them. That's how you show love. I mean, stop doing that phony voice. You do. That's how you show love. Would you just say I love you no, and saying, give stop, them flowers? I'm saying stop doing that phony voice you're you doing right so now. You're so bougie, nigga. Why would you want? Why would you want flowers from a dude? Come on, man, knock it off. You don't even sound like that type of girl. Mm, that's enough for that lady. Yeah, see, come on. Uh, let's go to James. When you Harris. meet a when you meet a woman, you you're supposed to a little bit. Break her down mentally. A little bit. Just a little, huh? Yes. You have to. Let's go to, <laughs> let's go to James in Arizona. What's up, James? Uh, hey, how's it going? Hey, I was going to talk about something else, but King of All Black is hilarious, dude. I, you know what? I feel, uh, I feel bad talking, uh, saying Big Black to you because you, you sound so proper. But King of All Black, dude, he is the King of All Black. That is some funny ass shit. <laughs> but this fucking, uh, Captain yep. Jenks, this guy's a fucking missile midget if he thinks he could have a show like your guys. This, this guy, what does he play? Two-minute clips at the beginning of Howard Spray? He's gonna fill a fucking hour with that shit? That guy's fucking a retard. He should be Captain Retard. Well, what, yeah. I, what, I, what I'm not going to disparage Captain Jenks. He's a nice guy, but what I, what I was saying was, and I'm and I'm being honest. You have to believe in yourself so somebody can believe in you, right? Right? Oh, Am I, yeah. Okay. So I believe that I have a certain amount of talent, and then they showed me that I do. There's nothing yeah, wrong with that, do. right? No, that last conversation when, with that chick showed your fucking talent, man. That was some funny shit. I mean... Wow, what are hey, you smoking? As a man, as a man, I have to fucking I I can understand what you're saying. Where you were treating her like a dog, where you're like not treating like a literally like a fucking dog, where she's on the ground, but you fucking you know walk away from her, don't give her a little bit of attention. Exactly. Turn around and they come right back towards you. You know they exactly. Walk towards you. Exactly. That that that's that's what that's what a dog does. When you when you walk away from a dog, don't they don't they follow you? 
Exactly, but you're not putting your wife on a fucking leash. It's the, that's what's so funny. Shit. Exactly. Like, I treat you, you could you. if you see my wife. If you if she said, "Oh, oh, Lawrence, he treats me like a like a like a queen." Yeah. But she doesn't tr- but she doesn't treat me like a king all the time. But she used to. But she used to. Are you going to divorce her? No, of course. Divorce her? I'm going to marry her again. But she, you need Thank to get you. it back in line, though, right? Yeah, she has to come. She's starting to go to school now and all that bullshit. I don't like that shit. That book learning, right? You don't like that shit. Yeah, I like them dumb and pregnant. <laughs> So what are you going to do? How, how are you going <laughs> to correct cooking. her? How are you going to tune her up then? How are you going to get that back in? No, spring? it's ways. You have to mentally do it. You can't physically do it. You have to mentally do it. Okay. You ever see a pimp? Yeah. You ever wonder why pimps have so many women? No. It's, the, it's not always because they beat them in the submission. It's because they mentally break them down. Every man has to do that. When you first meet a woman, your job is to a little bit to make her feel like, you're doing her a favor by giving her time. So you got to get your pimp game up back with your yeah, wife. No, I, I mean, you, you say like cliche pimp game up. I don't really talk like that. I'm just, I'm, I talk real talk. You just have to mentally break them down a little. A lot of us go, man, I, yo, I met this girl. She was so fucking fine, man. I'm going to go on my bank account. I'm going to give her some mama. Buy. Yo, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to buy something. And then you're shocked at this motherfucker that's fucking the shit out of her, and she's giving him your money. <laughs> and so it's crazy. So mentally, when you meet a woman, act like you, she, you're doing her a favor by being around her. That's your job. Break them down mentally. And I have daughters. So, so don't go up and say, oh, don't you got daughters? With another? I got daughters. And that's what you're supposed to do. But um, how can you teach me how to do that? You're beyond repair. <laughs> beyond repair. <laughs> you know, you know when you take a car to the to the you know to the car dealer and he goes, "Yo, can you sell it on your own?" That means it's, it's beyond. But I no no, you're not beyond. But you you don't even want to walk up to him. And, you don't even want to come to my barbecue. I had bitches there. They I, had, I had my wife got. Uh, they would have gave me some matter. play. I don't. That's up to you, my brother. They ain't up to me. That's up to you. I had liquor there. Shit, liquor's the gateway to pussy. <laughs> Shit, I mean, I had liquor there, beer. But were people having wine? sex? People having sex at your barbecue? No, they, oh man, you make everything like is. I didn't gonna have sex in my barbecue, but you set it up at the barbecue, then you leave the barbecue. You ain't got no car, right? <laughs> <laughs> you let, it, let it ride on your back. No, I'm just saying, if they got, if you that bad, they got cars in Jersey. Girls got cars, and they'll come get you. Remember that girl I bought over here for you? Yeah. She was going to take you out to eat and her new Cavalier. She had a Chevy Cavalier. She just got that shit. Wow. Wow, wow. She was sitting right here. <laughs> you ain't want none of that ass. She wasn't really my type, though, yeah, man. Yeah, but nobody's your type. She had titties and pussy. That's that's oh, definitely uh, not your type. So you mean oh, the whole world, all females in the world are your type then? Most of them. I don't discriminate. Like y'all motherfuckers be like, oh, that ugly bitch. Like y'all some fucking prize. Man, fuck that shit. I like them guys. I take a girl and go, who, me? You talking to me? I look, I'm ugly. Man, shit. Shit. <laughs> I don't discriminate. Put some lipstick on. I'll fuck a hippopotamus. <laughs> you know, King, to change the topic a little bit, I want to play for you what my favorite Jay-Z song is, since you're a big Jay-Z fan. Ho. Oh, that's the shit. It's not my, it, it is. It's a great record. I ain't gonna say that. That was good though, right? Jay Z. Yeah, nah, that's a great record. But, but the, other, the other song that you like, what's your favorite song and from Jay Z? There's some other song you always like to play. Oh, like, where you from? You think that's better than that song though, then, huh? It's just a different record. Different That different one's kind of more group. intense. Yeah. It's more intense. That shit you be sitting in your car, nigga. You know what I'm saying? You about to commit suicide. You know what I mean? You about to put it to your head and pull the trigger. That's that other shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. <laughs> uh, you want to take another phone call? Or you got something else every, you want to talk about? Every every Jay Z record is hot, so it, it, you was you couldn't have picked a dud. Well, I think there's three songs that stand out. That one, uh, 90, 99 Problems, and Empire State of Mind. I think those are the three best. The Ooh. rest, I don't like as much. Look, are you crazy in that catalog? And you come up with that? I mean, they all good, but this catalog is crazy. You, do you like Empire State of Mind? Yes. 
I'm but it's not it's not one of his, not one of your favorites though, huh? Jay Z gets better as time goes back. You know what I'm saying? You know how some people say you get better with time, like you keep you get better as time. You like the song I'll be? He gets, if you rewind, he gets better. You like when he did I'll be with um Foxy? Yeah. A reasonable doubt, you go get that album. You talking about classic rap I ain't talking about Drake and all that cotton candy shit. I'm talking about real rap. Reasonable doubt, but how does reasonable that reasonable doubt compare to his new album with, with Kanye? Are they both about the same, or is one better than the other? Reasonable doubt is just gritty. It's grime. It's crime. It's 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 heroin. That's it's, his best album, then. Yeah, it's 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 sinister. It's 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 something that you shouldn't be listening to. It's it's fucking crazy. It should make you want to kill somebody. But it's smart. We listen to reasonable doubt album. It's crazy. All right, let's take another call. Uh, let's go to Dubba in Illinois. It's still, it's still eleven ninety nine. You uh-huh. know, some motherfuckers should be three ninety nine. Shit, this shit is still try to get reasonable doubt, nigga. You paying twelve dollars? <laughs> Over. You... What's up, Dubba? It's Duba. What's up, now? Oh, How's it going? All right, Duba. I'm sorry. Now, what, what he got to do you? now is get Beyonce pregnant. Now that's what he got to do. That's going to happen pretty soon. He got right? nothing, huh? I mean, you know, no disrespect, but. Damn, <laughs> he's got a nut in her. I ain't climbing out of that shit. <laughs> I'm staying right in there. Yeah, get it before she gets old, huh? <laughs> yeah. Oh God, you don't want no kid with no old woman now. Shit, that baby have an eye in the middle of his forehead. <laughs> have that old egg, huh? Yeah. After 38, shit, them eggs be fucking. You can see through them eggs like they were soaking in vinegar. <laughs> 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 you, got, you got some pickled eggs. <laughs> pickled <laughs> eggs up in this motherfucker. <laughs> that was a good one. That was a good one. All so, right, man. It's not, it. it's not often people make me laugh. That was a good one. <laughs> pickled hey, eggs. Hey, hey uh, hold on, man. Uh, you know, this is what do for 83. Hey, but, you know what? what? Back when you was talking about when you first met your wife. <laughs> when I met my, my ex-wife, she was from a small, well, not small, but she was from a town in Mexico. Man, she didn't know. She she got scared the first time we went on a plane. Yeah, that's the kind I like. Man, I, I, and you get to educate them and mold them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, of course. My mother, not, not my father, my mother. God bless, you know, my mother died. But she God told bless. me, she told me, she said, Lawrence, no matter how old you get, do not get a woman the same age as you. They know that's too it. much. They know too much. That's what your, that's your mother, told, mother you? told me that. Wow. That's unusual. She said, get them young so you can raise them. Wow. Your mother told you that? Yeah, because she said that's the person you're going to be spending most of your time with. So if if you happy, if you know, if you happy with her, you're going to be a happy person. That's unusual that a mother's going to be on the side of the man as opposed to the woman. Yeah, my mother always was like that. She said, make them make you a sandwich. You know, all that. Well, Be a woman. Well, sir, um, we're going to have more Black on Black coming up. Give us a call at 888-STERN-101. This is Black on Black on Howard 101. Get in that kitchen. Once again, this is Big Black on Howard 101, Black on Black. We're filling in for Pharrell, who's off this week from 8 to midnight. We're doing 8 to 10, and Abe Cannon comes on 10 p.m. to midnight. This is our 13th show. we got two more shows this week, and after that, who knows when we're going to be back? Well, they said, well, we can't announce it, but. Yeah, we'll, we'll let you know on Friday when, when our next scheduled show is. But stay tuned this week because we got, we got it popping, right? <laughs> yeah, <I don't, laughs> please don't talk like that. We got, it, we, yeah, yeah, we got it popping. It's getting, it's, go, it's going down, right? Yeah, it's going down. <laughs> uh, let me, let me do something for You're you. You're actually getting better at it. I want to play a song for you by Billy Joel. Okay. I know you're probably not a Billy Joel no, fan. No, I do. I, I happen to like Billy Joel. But I think he said something funny on this song, and I want to play for you to see if you hear what I'm hearing. It only take like about 30 seconds or so. Some racist shit? It, it could be. Just All take right. a listen. I'll tell you. Let me try to get it tuned up. I, my ears is always ready for some <laughs> racist shit. Give me one second. This thing just froze on me. Oh, no. It's all right. Well, once again, let's, let's get your plugs again. You're on Twitter. At Ask the King. And I'm the real big black. I got a, a YouTube video with three million hits. I got to look at that. 
and I got a, a cool um, Jets video to the song My Way by so Frank Sinatra. On, do, do, hang on. Do I go on YouTube. Yeah. And I put in what? Um, you have to put like user the real big black and, okay. it'll, and it'll pull up my videos. All right. Would I be, am I going to enjoy this or yeah. am I wasting my well, time? Well, it's more for little kids, but you, you know. Because I could be on tube galore looking at some <laughs> big fat bitches. Well, fucking. then don't leave it alone then. Leave it alone. <laughs> All right. So let me go to that damn song I was talking about. Um, Billy Joe moving out. Take a listen. He said niggas can't drive with a broken back. No, I don't that, know if he said that's that. That's what it sounded like, sound right? Like, it sounded like it. Every time I heard this song, I always think, "What? How is Billy Joel like that gangster?" Back in the eighties, he was going like, "Nigga can't drive with a broken back." I think back then it was all right for white people to say "nigga." Then, right? Was that? It wasn't <laughs> no, that? it was never all right, bro. No, I mean never all right, but it was accepted, right? But uh, you but know, I used to watch All in the Family, and they used to say "nigga." No, but no, Billy, didn't. they didn't. No. Oh, <laughs> I, they I mean, I, I used to. I mean, I don't mind it. I used to. I used to just think. I, actually, I thought it was better television back then. Let all me ask the, you, uh, hey, um, Lou. Could, could you play that again? People are so sensitive. Just so people, so now I want you to listen to it. Okay. And see if it sounds the same way to you. Give me one second, I'm it up. Now, Ob objectively. Yeah. I can tell you that the lyrics actually say that he doesn't say it, but it sounds that way to me. But well, what are they saying he says? I'll tell you. Oh, okay. If I remember. But we're here on Kinda Howard. Like, 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 yeah. like, like, you, you ought to know by now. Now, he's going to try to front and play it off, right? <laughs> no, he's saying Going to lyrics, it says, like, uh, something like, you can't. I forgot exactly what it says. If you look it up on he something. He said, nigga lyrics, can't drive, neither. No, it's not. It's like. Nigga can't drive or and, something. No, it's, and if you can't drive with a broken back. Oh, yeah, maybe he is saying that. And if, but, but no, he's if trying to front. And nigga, if you, you can't drive <laughs> with a broken back. Nigga, you can't die with a broken back. <laughs> I think he's saying nigga. Yeah, he is saying nigga, right? I think it'd be better if he said Nigga, you can't die with a broken back. <laughs> that shit is funny, though. But Billy Joel point, getting gangster on the people. next concert, he should just do that shit. <laughs> nigga, you can't die with a broken I'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> Oh, my God. That's something I've been thinking about for like the past 10 years. Now you really go, man. I never had a chance to, to play anywhere, but now that we have our own show. Yeah, I do like Billy Joel. Yeah, he's one of my I don't like favorites. too many, you know, too much rock shit, but I do like Billy Joe. And I used to like that uh, group. Um, they used to wear that makeup, and the guy used to, oh, fuck. Kiss? No, not Kiss. It was a young group. Well, they ain't young anymore. Um, it was three of them. They wore makeup? One used, to have a, one used to wear a mask, like a little mask on the side. He wasn't Kiss. It was, was it they rock? were younger. Yeah. Wow, three of them, and they wore masks or makeup and masks. I don't know. Damn. What, what decade was it? Like the eighties, nineties? No, it's like not, like not now. Yeah, I can't think of it that offhand. Two thousand, two thousand three, two thousand two. I can't think of it offhand. One of I need more masks. information. Oh, they were good, man. But now I want to play that that, that song to kind of introduce you to the topic of racism. Do you think Billy Joel's being a racist there, or is that just no. some coincidence and shit? No. I don't use the word racism unless it's warranted. Like when I when I saw Plan the Apes, I saw racism in that movie. I ain't gonna lie, I did, I did. When I saw that black dude, the oh, head of that company, oh God. here we go. And they was trying to calm black <laughs> oh, people down on, by man. putting that black man the head of that company. I'm oh. telling you. No, you're probably right, but I just haven't seen the movie yet. When so. you see a nigga with like a big a big company like that, like every movie I see is a white dude. Now all of a sudden it's apes and now it's a black dude that's dark as the ape. Come on, man, that's to calm us down. W were you upset when in the first um, Planet of the Apes when they had the? <laughs> he was so black he had red eyes. So oh, okay. he had blood in his eyes. <laughs> well, did you think that, that the ape in the other movies looked like Janet Jackson? Who? In the other Planet of the Apes movie, Janet Jackson is not attractive to me, so I, I get the joke. But no, no, I'm saying a lot of people were saying the one with, with Mark Wahlberg, the, the one that came out like five years ago. Was, I didn't see that one. Oh, you didn't see that one. It was did a, you did you see the movie Stepfather? Nah. Yo, you gotta rent Stepfather. What, the the original one or no, the one? The new one from two thousand nine. And that? you talking about you can't get no pussy? This motherfucker was getting pussy and killing the whole family and getting more pussy after that. Go rent it. <laughs> take, some, take some notes. <laughs> That's a, nah, nah. Two it, thumbs up, huh? I thought it was going to be a bullshit movie because it was 99 cent, even in uh, Blu-ray. But that shit was good. That shit was good. You know what I'm saying? That shit was at the bottom, too. It wasn't at the top at eye, at eye level. That shit was at the bottom. <laughs> shit, my daughter picked that shit up. She said, I want to see this. I said, fuck it. 
But I, I have a question though. But on on Howard Show this week, there's been a big controversy about um, Andy Dick, like he's an anti-Semite because he's calling Howard a hook-nosed Jew. But oh, yeah, but, that's but jealousy. But yet in the past, though, Howard had um, let's say um, the Daniel Carver from the Ku Klux Klan. He used to be on the show all the time, calling Robin a bamboo a bamboon. Well, oh shit, yeah, that's true. But no, nah, well, you know what it is? Racism, racism only makes a person mad if the racism is 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 towards them. Yeah, towards their group. Yeah. So he like, cares about other. That's why it was funny. <laughs> and I understand how it being Jewish and being angry at what Andy Dick was saying because it, it was disgusting. You know what I'm saying? I, I felt everything he was saying about this, like I did for this motherfucker. You know, because he was calling them all kind of Judas and Judas. But people that were calling and they were pretending like they were offended too. Come on, B. See, you think the- how I don't see through that? You, people got to stop being phony. Yeah, I, I learned long ago. With if, how- you, if you weren't Jew, if you're not Jewish, why were you offended? No, because, you know. The, <laughs> we, I mean, you could pretend you were. Because that's the new thing now. Once Howard's on a topic, then everyone jumps on the bandwagon. You should do. The, you shouldn't do that. Yeah. He don't. He don't like when you do that. Why would you do that? Just have your own opinion. Well, people are trying to get airtime, so they say, oh, "Well, this is what Howard's into now." So let me jump on that bandwagon. Oh, I'm mad too, Howard. <laughs> I mean, but it's so cool. I mean, I don't. I don't know. Whatever. I don't understand that. Really but did don't. you ever used to get offended when Daniel Carver used to be on the, on the Stern show? No, I don't. Believe me, man. Yo, man, I do not get offended unless it's uh, anger. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, when I was, because I grew up in a white neighborhood. I'm talking about a nice neighborhood, affluent. So they really was like, what you, you know, fuck you doing here? So they used to yell shit out of windows at, like, nigga. Like, and they was mad. You know, but white boys, when they... They don't really want to confront you. Like, they rather be riding by and say, nigga. Like, nigga! And just ride by. They never stop and shit. It's always like riding by. Because motherfuckers like, man, I wish this motherfucker would stop that car. Wow. So I could reach in that motherfucker and choke the shit out of him. Wow, the white boys are here. See, they're laughing at that one. No, that that no. was a real funny one, huh? They say, yeah, yeah that's well, true. That's yeah. true. Well, I don't know if they're saying it's true. It's just, I'm it's just I'm being honest. Like, that's what I saw. You know what I'm saying? I never. Now, if you see a white boy that has stopped the car and get out the car and say, "Motherfucker, I called you a nigger," you better run. You better run, cause I think that motherfucker means business. But other than that, I think they just gonna ride by. <laughs> if they just ride, you goddamn nigger, and then they go on. They say, "Damn, that motherfucker, I hope he make a U-turn." But they never make a U-turn. They got that shit off. You know, and they got the beer hanging from the car, you know, drinking beers and shit. You know what I'm saying? But that's how it is. But racist, and it's real strong now because Obama, it's, I, I've Yeah, never, you said you've been listening to the, the Republican shows. Oh, they, they're all going off on I've them, right? I've listened to those talk shows. I cannot, yo, they sound like they foaming at the mouth. And it cannot just be because of his policies. It can't. It can't. You said like he can't even take a vacation. He can't, can't go to a birthday a party. Vacation. He can't have a birthday party. This nigga can't. Um. Um. um he can't go golfing. You know what I'm saying? Damn. Shit. He can't do shit. Nigga, just sit in the White House and don't go nowhere, nigga. But because he's... and then they say, oh, he got a bus. I said, damn. Well, he's in the back of it at least. <laughs> he ain't in the front. <laughs> <laughs> he is riding the back of the bus. You know what I'm saying? Damn, man, can't you be happy of that? <laughs> Come on, man. No, I'm telling me, yo, man, I've heard every complaint. Like, what's his name on um that works on Howard TV? Oh, man. Scott DePace. Yeah. I would like to ask him a, a serious question. Does any any uh, discussion or criticism of President Obama have anything to do with his race? Anything? He's not going to admit that, you know. He might. No, he won't admit that. Would he admit that? Would he admit that if OJ, if the people that he allegedly killed, and they don't even say allegedly with OJ, that motherfucker was charged not guilty for murder. They still say, oh, he killed him. He killed him. But I'm going to say allegedly because he, because he, he, he got, wasn't, was he not was not convicted, guilty. right? If those two people were black, do you honestly think 20 years still they would be mad at him? Of course not. 
It would just so be a- isn't that racism? Of course it is. When I hit somebody, if I hit somebody in the back and with my car, and I go to the car and see if they're all right, and they white, I say, oh, shit. I hit a white dude. <laughs> if it's black, I'll be like, oh, shoo. Man, I might, I might not even pay no surcharge. You all right, miss? <laughs> I, I'm serious. I get. I, I, so you're I saying get, you're racist yourself, then? No, huh? I'm not. But I know. I know reality. I know, <laughs> you know reality. Reality, reality is that you treat white people different than you treat black people. If you hit no, because they're gonna treat me then when oh. the cop come. He white. The person I hit is white. I'm fucked up. <laughs> I'm fucked up. All you gotta do is say I'm sorry, man. You know. I thought they was black. That's why I hit them. Yeah, no, okay, no, 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 no. That's what you're going to tell the cop. Okay, <laughs> I'm right, saying, yeah. No, I'm just saying Dude. you get more relieved if they happen to be black. I, I'm just a shame. It really is. I didn't make the world. So anybody, run, anybody running for president now, you think there's a racist? They seem like they all. It's just, I'm just waiting for one person to say this. God damn, we got to get that nigga out of the White House. If somebody said that shit, I might even vote for him. Because at least that person is honest, thank, thank, because they saying everything else. He's not born here. This motherfucker was hatched. Uh, it, it, it's, it's, and nobody's saying anything about it. Not even Al Sharpton, not even, nobody's saying, I know he can't. He can't even do things for black people, President Obama, because they'll, they'll, they'll get mad at him for that. Yeah, you ain't joking. They're looking for that. The shit, one niggas, little is, sign. niggas is fucked up. I see. I see. Just as many people when I go to work as when I get off. Ain't nobody working. What do you mean? What do you mean by that the, statement? I see as many people in the street when I go to work. Oh, that's when you get when off. I get, nobody's going anywhere. They be sitting in front of their house. Where you going? I said I'm going to work. Like it's odd. So you <laughs> live in a black neighborhood now? No, but I work. I work in a. I work downtown. Oh, where you work at? Oh, okay. Yeah, I get away from them. <laughs> from them. You gotta sell your house. You can't you fuck all that shit. You have rappers be like, yo, bro, where you? Why you don't? Why you leave the hood? Why I leave the hood? I fuck. I'm gonna stay here. If you make a, if you making money, you got you can't stay there. You gotta leave. You gotta live around white folks. You have arrived. <laughs> what's a good neighborhood to move in? <laughs> huh? What's a good What's a good neighborhood to move in in New Jersey? Uh, Paramus, uh, Glen Rock, Inglewood Cliffs, Fort Lee, Edgewater. Okay. Milky White. <laughs> I heard you say. And they don't mind a couple of niggas over there. But if, they, if it's too many, they be like, oh, I'm getting the fuck out of here. I heard Chris Rock moving into this neighborhood that's like really And you gotta be exclusive. very quiet. You gotta be very quiet. You can't do all that eating ribs out in the street and all that shit. You know, you gotta be refined. But did you hear about this new neighborhood that Chris Rock moved into? It's like some special neighborhood. Oh, man. You ever been I over there? Take, oh yeah, oh yeah. Alpine, nigga. Yeah. <laughs> them them houses look like buildings, like a like building, like office buildings. Wow. I know where he live. He invited my daughter went to his birthday. My daughter went to his daughter's birthday party. Go to the same school. Yeah, right. They do. I don't lie on these microphones, man. That's one thing we pledge not to lie on these microphones. So your, your daughter goes to a private school? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, she, if I send her to public school, she be coming on moving her neck and all that shit. I ain't doing that. My wife, my daughter don't talk like that. Mm, I don't play that shit. Till they get that shit together, then I come back. I'll be over here till y'all get your shit together. All right, let's go to a phone call for you, someone who wants to speak to you especially. Oh. Todd from Montana. What's up, Todd? Oh, maybe I didn't click. Let oh, me, I'm sorry. Todd, let, what's let up, me, Todd? Oh, let me turn my brain down before you take this call. Todd. All right, that. Yo, yo. That. Yo, what's up? What's up, Todd? Go ahead. I got, it. I, got hey. the, I got the volume down on my brain. <laughs> hey, I got a question for, for both of you, so let me let me hold on. I'm, King, I want to ask you, with all the uh, freaky shit you're up to your wife, is she like, is she more game to throw down with you now that you got your own radio show and stuff, or are you getting any more action because of that? No, actually, I, I sense a little jealousy in her. Oh, really? Yeah. Yep. She's not. She don't. I don't think she likes this. Oh, she, man. She, she's very quiet when I go. Let me tell you something. My wife doesn't like none of that shit I do, like all that freaky shit. She doesn't enjoy it, but she tolerates it, and she acts like she enjoys it. But 
you know, you know how you are. When you when you try and get another, you don't give a fuck if she enjoy it or not. You try and get your shit off. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. But she, she yeah. complies. I use the word comply. She complies. <laughs> she complies. She I don't, complies. I don't understand how these. It's hard to find a woman that complies. Oh, yeah. Well, you got to find a way to segue that, man. Be like, hey, listen, I'm a big radio house now. I'm coming home. I got to, you know. I she don't like that care. talk. She don't like that talk. <laughs> that big woolly talk. Bitch, I'm uh, home, motherfucker. Assume the position. <laughs> no, I do, I do say that. I do say that to her. She likes when I talk like that. Assume the position, bitch. <laughs> because it minds how I used to, it minds her how I used to be. But when I used to talk like that, I was serious. You know what I'm saying? Right. So now I joke around. You know, because I can still, and, uh, I can still go back there. What you just say? I, I wanted to see what I just with Big Black. I'm like he's so, like it's so mysterious what he's up to because he's this super smart guy. And when you hear him on Howard's show, it's like. You, you get the impression that he's got this really like crazy life. Like, what when you're not on the radio show? Like, well, how do you how do you spend like the bulk of your time? You just at your house with the YouTube videos, or you look? What do you like? What do you what are you up to? What am I up to? Uh, I'm on uh, internet. I'm on Sirius Radio, listening to Sirius. I listen to all the one on one shows. But you know, but I, that's I, not I watch TV. What do you do productive? Like productive? Like you know what I'm saying? Like productive? Uh, not much. I like to watch TV, listen to the radio. And you don't feel internet. any guilt? Well, like, like I'm, when, I go, when I'm on vacation from working, I get up at 5 in the morning like I'm working. Because I feel guilty that I'm sleeping. That's you. And I pull the covers down and see my wife's red toenails. That should get me hard as hell. <laughs> I'll be like, damn, I'm horny as And then it be raining. <laughs> I'll say, man, you going to get this shit real quick. Because it's raining. Well, let me let me ask you this, Big Buck. If like as a really bright guy, like I would imagine you're not easily entertained. Do do you feel like you're going crazy just sitting there watching TV, or is it or is it all good? <laughs> feel like he's going crazy. No, it's all good. I also spend a lot of time oh, on the Stern Fan Network. I like that site. They have a lot of good stuff on that site. <laughs> you got on black socks and black shoes and black pants. <laughs> What's wrong with that? <laughs> <laughs> if you can see what he got on. Oh my god, and his nose is so fucking big, yo. It's huge. But you had a nose job. I wish I could see your original yo, nose. Yo, if he got Then you have a nose job? Seriously, yeah. So, and if you if you so got a nose, but my nose was never wide like yours. So let, let me see a picture of your original nose. My nose was never wide as yours. If you got a nose job, they would need two surgeons. Yeah, wow. There we go. You know that meeting on that nose we had before? It's yeah, here. Right. <laughs> I would need backup. It's huge, and then when he smiles, it gets bigger. That motherfucker, that's a nose, motherfucker. Shit. You can, you can smell somebody before they come to your front door. <laughs> no, nah, I'm just kidding. I love, no, he's a good dude. He's a good dude. Uh, Thanks. Cool. Yeah, that's your gimmick, man. You told me about your gimmick. You say something about someone for five minutes, and then for five seconds, oh, he's a good dude. Yeah, yeah that's okay, man. Yeah, I don't, I'm hip to you. I want you to come to my barbecue. I'm angry at that. Yeah. That you didn't come. I'm lashing out. I have your your buddy here, Steve from Brooklyn, man. He wants to say something to you. What's poppin' slime? What up, slime? Yo, tonight's been the best show. I, I've been on every single show so far. You know that. I call it all the time. Tonight has been the best show. The king has showed the most knowledge out of any show tonight than all the other shows. Damn. And I want to give you congratulations on that. I felt like letting loose tonight. Well, let me give you, since you giving me some advice, let me give you some white people let advice. So last night that you cooked salmon, right? Yes. Oh. You have to get the wild salmon. Yes. You have to get the wild salmon. Oh. That's, that's a white people's secret. That's a white people's secret. Only He's wild right. salmon. It tastes fresher. Yes, and it's good for you. It gets it all Yeah, stuff. and it's, 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 it's organic. It's not, it's not farm raised. No, no, no. Organic is whack, too. No, no, no. I'm talking about uh, wild salmon is not farm raised. It's not yes, raised in farm cages. Farm raised. That's all that nasty fish. They don't yes. it's, it's, it's nasty. Uh -huh. But, King, let me ask you a question. This is the, right. the big topic you were avoiding since, you, you know, you Wait, you're breaking up. You're breaking up. Come on back. Can okay, you, are, you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, because you're kicking knowledge. My bad. I just want people to hear you clearly. I had a diabetic stroke. Yeah, I got diabetes. Yeah, he just brought me down. I got diabetes. Yeah, you had a stroke. I got you what? Stroke. You had a stroke, a diabetic stroke? No. 
I ain't no stroke. You, you told him in the hospital. You said you were in the hospital. You had diabetic stroke. No, I never said I died. That's when I went in the hospital. That's when I discovered I had diabetes. I was going into a diabetic coma. At, that's how I discovered I had diabetes. I had to go to the hospital. That's a stroke, then. No, I didn't have no stroke. That's a stroke. If you were going into a coma, that's a stroke. No, I, I, listen, listen. When I was home, I didn't know I had diabetes. But uh, uh, like for a week, I was feeling very weak. Like, but I was still functioning, but I knew something was wrong. But like all, you know, most men, particularly black men, we don't really go to doctors. So I was. Well, what were the warning signs? The warning, the warning signs. Like, I was peeing. I was peeing forty times a day. What color was your pit? Was it like a was it dark brown? Pit? It was, like that it? shit was that that shit was regular yellow. And as the day went on, that motherfucker was white. It was I was pissing water at the end of the day. I was drinking my own piss. Then and, and because it was just like water. My own when piss. when and, and and I used to put a bucket, the mop bucket, I used to put it by my bed. And I used to piss, I used to roll over and piss into the bucket. And by the by, I I swear by the morning that bucket was half full. And I used to tell my wife to empty that shit. Because you got to tell these people, because, you know, a lot of black people, they get the diabetes and they don't even know. That's yeah, they like to get diabetes. Black people like to get diabetes. They, I don't know. They, we get it a lot. We get it. We like to have high blood pressure, too. It's, it's what we eat. It's food. It's yes. the fast food. It's what? It's the fast food. It's the fast, yeah, it's the fast food. It's the, it's the, come on, it's the lifestyle. It's the pressure. The pressure from the white man. <laughs> the pressure from the white know. man. I don't know yeah. what it is. What? What? You can't have you can't have some fruit. You got to eat McDonald's. It's pressure from the white man. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. It's it's bad choices. Because you have to have Kentucky Fried Chicken and have avocados for dinner. You know and, what I'm saying? And, what the hell is going on? And we got to go to that bar and drink like we did last time. Remember that? Yo, King. Last night I went out. I found this bar. It's in the village. Oh, we gotta take a break, man. Yo, Steve. I hate to cut you off, man. You my no, put me on hold. No, they, they don't want to put on, people on hold no more. They, yeah. They're shutting okay. that shit down. Yo, Steve. Hit, hit. Call tomorrow. Coronas. Call tomorrow. Coronas. Oh, man. Let us know tomorrow, bro. I'll call tomorrow. All, All right. right. Later, bro. He's a good dude. That's the guy you want to make him a co-host of the show, right? No. I'm a co-host of the show. Well, we're going to have more Black on Black coming up. <laughs> Give us you got to earn the you got to earn the right to sit up in these microphones, baby. It's just call, me and you. Call 888-STERN-101. I'm Big Black. That's... King. King of all blacks. And what show is this? Black on Black on Howard 101. Black on Black on um, Howard 101. Hey, I want to tell you something. What up? This year, I said I only got one paycheck, right? From Sirius XM. Yeah. Last year, I only got one paycheck also. I worked at an, on a movie. This new movie with Eddie Murphy and Ben Stiller. They were talking about when Paulie Shore was in the studio. Is a new movie coming out? Yeah. Eddie Murphy and Ben Stiller, like Robin and Paulie Shore, were talking about the movie today. Yeah, Robin said it was it seemed yeah. funny or something. Yeah, she said it, was, it looked like it's a real good movie, and I'm going to be in it. There's going to be a scene, a uh, Thanksgiving Day parade. So look for me in the movie. It's called, I think, Tower Heist. So oh, 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 that's the name of the movie. One of them comedies. Yeah, heist. that's that's the. Uh, and you're in it. I'm, I was extra two oh, days. Okay, that's the only two days I worked last year. And they paid you? Yeah, I got a check for like a hundred dollars a day. Okay, how many days did you work? Two days. All right, two hundred. So I made two hundred dollars last year. <laughs> yeah, you could have copped the uh, the copper. Um, you could have got the copper uh, phone posits. The what? The copper Nike phone posits. Yeah, the, the air po the air phone posits. Nikes, Nike sneakers. Oh, I don't even. Yeah, they're two fifty. <laughs> wow, I almost could have got one. <laughs> yeah, nah, fifty more dollars. You could have got the copper joint. I got the pearl joints. I got the pearl um uh, phone posits. Fifty six. You can't even get them. Where you where you buy them at the, the mall? <laughs> nah, I got them off the internet. Oh, so I, I I would give people the site, but yo, they got sneakers that you can't even get anymore. They got I ain't gonna give out the site because they ain't paying me for that. <laughs> what is bond? All right, let's go to a phone caller. Let's go to Rex in San Diego. What's up, Rex? What's up, Big Black? How you doing, sir? So did you dip that little pecker of yours yet, or what? Dip it where? Dip it, dip it. Did you get laid yet? Oh uh, no, not not this um decade. Nah, sorry. <laughs> not not this decade. Why are you are you sorry? I mean, I'm, <laughs> he said I'm sorry. <laughs> why are you, why you laughing, King? Yeah, but why are you telling he's you, he's telling you he's sorry? You, you, he's well, I'm sorry to admit that you know oh. that's just the facts. King, King, King. You think he's got a little dick? 
Why? Why are you asking my dad? What the fuck is that? I'm like gay. Would that turn you off if I had a little one? Oh, you're gay. Are you gay? Oh yeah, I'm gay. All right. No, King, are you all hopped up off those OCs or what? Oh, oxycotton. Yeah. Yeah, man. When I had the dentist. When I, I was at the, the dentist, they, yeah, they gave me a couple. Of, they good. I mean, I, I mean, I can see how people get hooked, but I, I'm I'm too strong for that. Yeah, I can tell you're all hopped up off them. My brain, my brain is too too strong to get hooked on anything. <laughs> I don't know Where about you from? That. Where you it. from? Where you from? San Diego. San Diego. So it sounds to you like King is on hopped up on on uh, oxycotton right now. Me? Oh yeah. That's what he just said. Oh, no, he's having no, he's having a good show. You know, he's funny, so he's, he's all hopped up. You can tell he's in a good mood. <laughs> I don't have none. I didn't take any oxycontin. This is natural yeah. fucking brain power, buddy. I mean, <laughs> well, I did. I, I did some steroids. <laughs> no, nah, nah, nah. I can hit a baseball. <laughs> no, nah, I never. I never. I don't take drugs. No, I know it's good. It's good. You smoke weed though once in a while. No, no. are you? I, yo, no, honestly, I wish I could, but uh, my job they <laughs> drug you, testing, they right? You random. They come <laughs> yeah, around in the fucking reason. van. They come around in the van when you least expect and take you in that van, and you your pitch better be fucking lemonade, or you going to fucking you gonna fire you gonna get fired. There's a zero tolerance in that motherfucker. Oh yeah, they piss test you guys. That's uh, randomly random. All right, thanks, Rex. Later. Oops. Oh, well, sorry. sorry to say. Sorry to say, I'm clean. <laughs> uh, let's go to another call. Let's go to. Um, it's so silly though. Mark in Boston. What's up, Mark? You should be able to smoke weed. What's up, Big Black? What's up? It's not legal. Hey. I wish I could smoke some weed. I would go up to 164th and Broadway and get that good bud. You know that green, yeah, that sticky, icky nigga with that red blonde hair and that shit. Oh my god. Gotta wait till you retire, huh? Then you can just go to all smoke out. Smoke a joint. And I'll be old and stuff. Like, Look at that old motherfucker smoking a joint. He must have waited till he retired. <laughs> so what's up, baby? Great show, guys. Again, again, another another fucking home run, man. Oh man, thanks, man. What you doing? What you doing yeah. right now? You chilling? Yeah, I'm just chilling and listening to your show, man. Every time I'm a big fan, big fan, man. Damn, man. You sound like a young dude. You young? Uh, I try to keep it young, you know. I like them younger. Yeah, we all do, don't we? Just like the king. If, if they can bleed, they can be butchered. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Oh, man. I don't know what to do. <laughs> hey, listen, I got a question for you guys. Hey, when you meet a girl, hey, listen, when you meet a girl, ask them, do they get their period? And if they say, yeah, then it's all good. <laughs> I had a friend of mine that swore he could smell it. <laughs> smell when they're like, on period? Yeah, he be like she on your period, and he he was like ninety percent correct too. Man, oh God, he probably could smell like it. A dog. Yeah, like bed bugs. Like <laughs> a dog, he be like, you know. Yeah, I know guys that like that shit. That shit, it's too slow. Yeah, get the red wings. I yeah. I'm not down with that. I, I I did it, but it's too slimy, it's too slippery. Okay, yeah, I understand. You, I know you getting sick. Any yeah. any conversation that has anything to do with pussy, he is going to get sick. No, it's not that. It's what you're just, you're saying. You're I know it is, it's, and it tastes like iron. All right, yeah. So let's go to Jeff in Pennsylvania. What's up, Jeff? Hey guys, uh, great show, man. I gotta tell you guys, you guys are like the odd couple. One without the other just ain't gonna work. You guys are fantastic. Uh, I'm gonna miss you guys next week. Uh, man, we got a surprise for you. I, 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 man, I love that guy, but uh, at the same point in time, he's got to wait for you guys to get a permanent show, man. This is fantastic. Yep. Howard's a genius by putting you two guys together. One without I'm the one who thought of it, nah, not nah, Howard. No, wait, I do have it to. It can't work. It can't work one without the other. You guys are fantastic. I got a lot of troubles in my life right now, and you guys are just making me forget oh, about nice. it. I'm out here on the highway laughing my ass off. I, I love this. Yeah, I really, you know, seriously, I know a lot of people say that shit, that Hollywood shit, but I do appreciate what you just said, that you're going through some problem, shit. Guys. I, I, like I said, I appreciate the show. I'll let somebody else get on here. You guys don't need to get any interviewers. You guys just taking calls and stuff. This is just fantastic. It, you guys are like groundbreaking. This is brand new stuff. Never heard it before, and I'm loving it, man. I'm going to miss you guys next week. Hey, listen, I'm going to tell guys something. If it's hard, if you can't get some ass, some pussy, and you got a car, 
and you know you kind of shy or something, get you know get a girl in your car, give her a ride somewhere, and let her ride in your car for about at least fifteen twenty minutes, and when she get out, smell the seat. What the fuck? <laughs> what's the guy do? With, what's the guy do? What he was just saying about us? I don't know. If I was a cab driver, you picked up fine girls in your cab. And you take oh them no, 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 no! I, I drive truck. I, I got no, a, I got no. a, I got a land dispute going on with neighbors going on for over two years here, and I got to leave work or leave to go to work. I've oh, gone for like hey, a, well, oh, we're grabbed by the clock. And, no, I'm just uh, kidding. What does that I, mean? I, and man, those those neighbors of mine just pissing me off, and it's like with, listening to you guys just takes my mind off all that shit, and I really love it. Yeah, all right, thanks, thanks for calling. Hey, all right, drive safe. Thanks, bro. So, um, hey, um, King, you said you want to go in deep on that um Jay Z song. Yeah. What's the, oh yes. Welcome oh. to the jungle. Oh man, that's classic. my favorite song off the new album that you what? played for me. The one that you, yeah. you played three for me yeah. last my, week. It's one of my favorites off that album. My and, favorite is Joy. Joy. Yeah, okay, well, that this right here. So we're gonna try to play a little bit more of that. We played a little bit a yeah, few minutes ago. Let's play, man. Let's have some fun, man. I ain't gotta work tomorrow. Oh. Me neither. Except for this show. I'ma work it out, but I ain't gotta go to work. Right. Oh, did you bang your wife last night? Oh. Yeah, last night I did. This morning too. Oh. <laughs> She's a good girl. Right. That's pretty hot right there, bro. Me. Yo, let's let's play Joy. Let's play Joy going through the break. Oh, uh, we ain't got enough time, bro. We got to go hard break, hard break on Black on Black on um, Howard 101. So uh, no more calls because we're about done. But we'll be back. Black on Black on Howard 101. Holla. <laughs> Welcome back to Black on Black. We're the big black and king of all blacks. Once again, I want to reach you on um, Twitter. At Ask the King. Okay, let me give you a, a list of three chicks that I think are overrated. People who think they're hot. But I don't see why people like him. Okay. First is um Cameron Diaz. Yeah, she's old. Well, even when she was younger, I still didn't like her. Yeah, she does. Yeah, I, I agree with you with that one. Uh, how about Penelope Cruz? No. no. A lot of people say, oh, she's real hot, blah, blah, blah. Nah. I don't get it at all. I don't get it at all. I'm with you. So far, we're in agreement. And, for once. <laughs> and how about Anne Hathaway? No, oh, come on. <laughs> Hell no. But people all say, "Oh wow, she's real hot." The new hot they, actress. They say, "They say, uh, uh, what's that girl that that, that uh, supposed to killed her daughter?" They say she hot. Oh, Casey Anthony. Come on, B. She look washed out. Yeah, she's real pale, right? Yeah. She, 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 she I mean, hurt. I don't mind pale. Sometimes I like that milky white shit, but she look. I don't know. She's not hot to me. I think she's about a seven. I give yeah, her seven. Six high six. Yeah, low six. Yeah. <laughs> low six. <laughs> yeah, low six. So, um. Let me ask you, what else do you want to talk about? Because we're almost running down the last 10 minutes. So I, have, so I have a whole <laughs> lot of shit to talk about. Go ahead. go. But, but, I mean, you know, I'm going to spill it. We wait till tomorrow to really get into shit. Cause I can't get into nothing too heavy by the end of the show. But uh -huh. I can tell you one thing. Yeah. Um, let me see who I, who, uh, let me see who's, who's not, who's underrated. Let me think who's underrated as a pretty girl. Oh man! Wow! How about Joy Behar? Oh, okay, <laughs> nah, yeah, nah, yeah. I just man. Um, well, why are you thinking? Let's go to um, Charlie in Kentucky. What's up, Charlie? I'm trying to think who's. Hey, under. what's up, guys? How you doing, sir? Love the show. Hey, I gotta say, best decision whoever programming Tim Saving or whoever putting you guys on in place of Pharrell. You guys are the second best show on these channels for sure. Oh man, thanks, man. Oh, really thanks, appreciate sir. That. But, I gotta say, King, and I love you both, but King, y'all, y'all blew my mind. You skimmed over it for two seconds a minute ago that you had a nose job. Is that true? Yeah, yeah, I did. Man, that kind of negates all that misogynistic, <laughs> chauvinistic bullshit that you said earlier about having women uh, obedient and all that, man. Because I mean, that's about the girliest thing I can think of for a man. Well, you know that's what? Like, I didn't. I didn't. I, I said it on Howard, and I and, and he saw it. Uh, that was years ago, and I didn't get a nose. I, I got a pinch, <laughs> just like Howard did. He, <laughs> pulling back on that. No, shit they now. did. No, got a pinch. No, oh my God. no what they I, do? Look, as soon as you said it, the, first, the only thing that came to my mind. Can I think of any other man that had <laughs> plastic surgery? And of course, we know the one. But another black man, the only one I could think of, Michael Jackson. No, I don't know, buddy. He, he had a it. nose job. I had a, I had a, a, a tuck, like a pinch. Like they, they. You did it to look pretty, though, right? You want to be pretty. No, I just didn't like my nostrils. Uh, I mean, <laughs> come on now. 
The only reason people have plastic surgery, they want to look pretty. Well, they took some fat out of my nose. They thinned it out. <laughs> they, they whitened my nose up. Man, <laughs> really though. I mean, I almost cannot hear anything else from you about how, you know, you're the man and women are this, that, and the other. But. Hey, you know what? Let me tell you a little secret, too. Like, like when, like when, like, you know, you, you talk to girls. Yeah, listen, I'm mad. You know, we still talk to bitches and shit. Like, they was like, they was like, they was like, they say you got a pretty nose. <laughs> you got a, your, your nose, you know, they go like this, they go, they go, they go. You got your nose like a white man nose, and, and you know, and secretly, I be happy as hell. Look pretty. You want to look pretty, and it, and it, and it meshes perfectly with all this about. Your sneakers and your shirt cost six. It's so bucks. silly, isn't it? Silly. It's just silly, but I'm obsessed with that type shit. <laughs> you like it? You like a girl? You know how girls want to get dolled up? They yeah, I get a pedicure the too. Nicest clothes and the, you know I got my this dress at this place. You're like I got my sneakers at this place. I got my pants here. They were sixty dollars, and I got a nose job. I mean, come on, sixty dollars? Shit, I paid three dollars. What, whatever. You're, you're, but that was when. when uh, but when and and then when I get I I take my my I can wear a size thirteen and I get my like get my, get my pedicure and my eyebrows done you would think I was <laughs> <you> a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I get my eyebrows oh. plucked. You're right about that, man. <laughs> oh my god! But I don't do it like All those. Right. I don't do it like those Spanish banshee boys. Like they get that arch and shit. I just get a little cleaned up under my eyes. Those Spanish what? Up. You're getting dolled up. You're getting pretty. You're be- you're beautiful. Yo, I you're feel good though. Yourself. Once you get a haircut, and your eyebrows <laughs> done, and your feet done, and your nails, I'm ready to go okay. buy a pocketbook. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's it. I love Yo, y'all, man. Show, man. Y'all the best thing. No, nah, seriously, right. thanks for listening, man. My man. What you call Spanish? What kind of boys? Banji boys. You ever see them type? Of, you know them guys. I've guys. seen guys who have the eyebrows done. Yeah, those are banji boys. Oh, that's what they call them, huh? <laughs> Boy. Let's go to Crazy White Boy for our last caller. What's up, Crazy? Man, can you or something else, dude? Oh, come on. <laughs> Show me some love, baby. <laughs> Show me some love. I'm dying. I'm dying. You're crazy, man. You hear me? Did you hear what yeah. I just said? Yeah. That, was a, that, was, that was a secret, and you just glow. I'm dying. I feel you. I feel you. <laughs> Damn, man. that's all he's I feel you. <laughs> Because he knows you're bullshitting him, that's why. Are you going to come no, to my I, I, I was going to bring up something a little heavy, man, but I'll, I'll say Are you going to come to my funeral? <laughs> when are you dying, man? I'm dying. Hello? Hello? Stop, Hello? stop doing a bit, bro. I'm dying. <laughs> no, we are dying. We're all dying. That's the joke. Damn. But we're, all, we're, we're all dying slowly, man. You know how it is. Yeah. Anyway, though, man, I want right. to hear some fucking Jay Z, Big Pimpin', man. Put that shit on. Nah, nah, we're going to play. We're going to go out with joy. We're going to play. That's a hot record, though. I got to give Big Black a, uh, a hand for that one. Big Pimpin' is crazy. Hell yeah. yeah. We're going to end up with, uh, we're going we gonna to rock out with joy. Let's play a record after every show. All right, uh, Big Black? All right? Uh, well, it depends on what the record is. Oh, boy. It's always complicated. Can't you just say yes or no? Nah, yeah. No, then. It's not. <laughs> is that better? No. <laughs> That's funny. People ask you, say they want you to say yeah. Like, Yo, can I go? To no. Uh, like my daughter, she always want me to say yeah. That was funny how you did that. Let me, ask you, let me ask you a question. What do you think about Howie with those those cats? You think he's 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 um being a sucker by taking those cats, or is, is that good? Those three cats. I think he's trying to please this woman, but eventually you got to put your foot down. You know what I'm saying? Because then it won't stop. Because you're going to have to get rid of them cats anyway when Beth gets pregnant. Because pregnant women can't be around cats. Oh, I didn't know that. Nah, cats are, are lethal to pregnant women. Lethal. What do they do? They, they just, they, they give, they're, they're bad for the baby in the womb. Oh, okay. I didn't know they about that. They carry diseases that, that affects the, a woman's uterus. So according to you, Beth is going to be pregnant pretty soon. That's not according to me. What I got to do with it? No, I mean, are you saying, Beth, you think she's going to be pregnant? Absolutely. You're going to get pregnant? Absolutely. Even though Howard said he's never going to have another kid. He don't say that no more. So do you think Beth kind of roped him in and like now she's like manipulating him into being mm. changing his personality? No, but her, her, her beauty helps in doing that. You know what I'm saying? A lot of things women in general get away with because of how they look. You know what I'm saying? If she wasn't as attractive as she is, she it wouldn't be three cats in there. Right. You feel me? Yeah. 
So, yeah. But in the beginning, Howard, like, he's like, oh, I don't like <laughs> animals, this and that. Listen, we all say kind of shit like that, but when a girl, g- g- you know, and you fall in love, you do all kind of dumb shit. And remember how Howard used to always be against marriage? Oh, blah, 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 getting married. Let me talk him out of it. He ain't the only one. We all do dumb shit. But I, I'm aware of that shit, so I try to stop myself before I do dumb shit. What is mine? But it's weird, like me coming back to I the started, show. You know, after I had sex with my wife this morning, you know what I started to say? Why? I love you. And I said, you know, I ain't going to say that dumb shit today. I said tomorrow. I ain't going to say it today. It's dumb to say so I love you. So then she'll go, she'll go, why you, you don't say, why you ain't say you love me after this, see? And then you sit there. And you know what? Sometimes I act jealous. You know what I mean? You know, where you going? Shit like that. I act jealous. And then, um, you know, like, what are you doing? Yeah, well, I'm doing, I'm trying to help you out, man. Remember, there's something you want to do at the end of the show? Oh, man, we're going to end up with the joy. Hey, more knowledge tomorrow, right? And maybe some special guests, huh? We're going to try to work it out. Whatever. <laughs> We're going to have a very special show, the best show ever tomorrow. However, oh, come on. That's too much ass. Uh, what do you call it? Act, act, whatever. <laughs> anyway, we'll be here tomorrow, God willing. 8 to 10 p.m. tomorrow. Well, coming up in, in about another minute or so is the Abe Cannon Show. They'll be on from um, 10 to midnight, replacing um, Pharrell like we are. And we're all going to be here through Friday. After that, we'll let you know when we will be back. This is Black on Black on Howard 101. I'm Big Black and King of All Blacks is um, getting one of his favorite songs time. played. And can I say one more thing before we go? Sure. I love y'all. You talking to me? I love y'all. What about me? I love you too, man. <laughs>